In this video, we'll be covering troubleshooting tips for any problems that you might have with the Digisender XD HDMI. The first thing we're going to cover is how to pair the transmitter and the receiver. Move the receiver to the transmitting location and place it as close to the transmitter as you can. Connect the receiver to an available HDMI socket on your main TV. Connect the receiver to the mains using the power supply. Turn on the transmitter, then turn on the receiver. Now turn on the main TV and select the HDMI input channel that you connect the receiver into. Press and hold the pair button on both the transmitter and receiver for approximately 10 seconds. You will see the LEDs on the front of the unit start to flash. Once the units have paired, the LEDs will stop flashing and you will see the satellite channel appear. You can now move the receiver back to the receiving location. Because the Digisender shares bandwidth with Wi-Fi routers, downloading large files or streaming from the internet can cause performance issues. If you think that this might be the case, this can easily be solved by turning off your Wi-Fi router for a few minutes and then turning it on again. Just make sure that the Digisender is on and transmitting to the receiver when you turn your Wi-Fi router off. When your Wi-Fi router starts up again, it'll operate on a different SSID channel to the Digisender and should allow both of them to operate at the same time without any issues. Occasionally, you may notice that the audio and video goes out of sync. Nothing wrong with that card. Randy, go get a debit card. Sandy. Sandy. Yep. This is caused by drop frames in the transmission, but the Digisender will usually repair itself after a few minutes so that the audio and video go back in sync. Florida! Great beyond water sports? Never heard of it. I'm in Colorado. We don't have beaches, you know? We're if this does not happen automatically, then simply turning off the receiver and turning it back on again will solve the issue. You missed your court date in Florida three days ago. If you continue to have audio video sync issues, go through the pairing procedure we discussed in step one. If you're not getting any signal out of the Digisender on your receiving TV, this is usually caused by an error in the setup procedure. Go through these basic checks to make sure that everything is set up correctly. First, check that the receiving TV is set to the correct HDMI input channel. For example, if you connected the Digisender receiver to HDMI input number 1 on your TV, then you need to select the HDMI input 1 channel. Next, make sure that both the transmitter and receiver are turned on. The power LED on the front of the unit will be green when switched on. Next, make sure that your source device is turned on. So if you're trying to send a satellite signal for instance, make sure that the satellite box is turned on. Lastly, ensure that the HDMI cables have been installed in the correct manner. So make sure that the HDMI cable that comes out of your satellite box goes into the HDMI input on the Digisender transmitter and that the HDMI cable going to your main TV is connected to the HDMI output. If you've gone through all of the above and you still can't get a signal on the receiving TV, go through the pairing procedure we discussed in step 1. If you're unable to change the satellite channel from the receiving location, follow these basic steps. First, check that the IR emitter is correctly inserted into the IR socket on the back of the transmitter. 
Next, ensure that the lens on the front of the IR emitter is facing the IR sensor on your satellite box. Also make sure that the IR emitter cable does not run directly over the top or underneath your satellite box. At the receiving location, making sure that you're pointing the satellite remote control at the front of the DigiSender receiver are things to check. Pairing the transmitter and receiver could also help here. Go through the pairing procedure we discussed in step 1 if you're still having trouble. If none of the above have solved your problems, it may be linked to Wi-Fi bandwidth issues. Go through the procedure listed in step 2. If you're not getting a satellite signal on your main TV after setting up the transmitter, this may be due to one of two reasons. The first reason is that the DigiSender transmitter must be turned on before you switch on your Skybox. Simply turn off your Skybox, wait a minute or so, and turn it back on again. The second reason could be due to the HD resolution setting on your satellite box. Connect your satellite box directly to your main TV and select the appropriate HDMI input channel. Then, using your satellite remote control, press the services button and select settings. In the picture tab, go down to HD resolution output and change it to 720p. Press the green button to save and then press the select button Connect the satellite box to the transmitter again and you're good to go.